for his mercy endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we praise and magnify the Lord. We lift your name up, Jesus. We give you glory and honor. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you brought us to here. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, speak. Speak. Use me, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Use me to speak your word. Hallelujah. Let your word have power. And heal us Woo. In the name of Jesus. Woo. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to thank you and praise you and give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Woo. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God is worthy of all the praise. And I'm going to go to Psalms, my first scripture. Psalms 46, and I'm going to skip around. Verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. 7, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Uh, yeah. Ten, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. I will be exalted yeah. among the heathens. I will be exalted on the earth. Yeah. Eleven, the Lord of hosts is with us. Uh -huh. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you may have your seat. You. I praise God and I thank him. For this another day that he spared me. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, yeah. Woo, thank you, Lord. Uh, when uh, I got the text from Bishop, and it said he was moving me from the 22nd to the 29th. I said, I must have missed the text. Because I didn't see nothing about the 22nd. Oh. So what could I say but... That's fine, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I always, I just get, whoo, whoo, I get butterflies when I have to get up here because L.O.'s, you know, I don't want to play around. That's right. Hallelujah with God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I began to say, Lord, what would you have me to say? Amen. You know, I don't want to be up here just gabbing off, but I thank the Lord. I believe he gave me this. Uh, and I have a testimony. Next time, I'm going to give my testimony. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Say, God is our refuge yes. and strength. Yes. A very present help mm, in trouble. Yes. You ever been in trouble? Yes. You needed help? Yes. And, and he said he searched all over. Yes. Maybe you searched all over and you couldn't find anybody right. to help you in your time of yes. trouble. Yes. But God is our refuge. Yes. Yes. Ooh, thank you, Lord, for being our refuge yes. and our strength. Yes. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And you know that this Psalms 46 Psalm is a song of confidence mm -hmm. in God's protection. Right. A song of confidence uh -huh. in God's protection. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. thank you. Now, from those verses that I read, I got a subject. All right. And it is, know your resources. All right. All right. Know your resources. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank now, you. what you're talking about, resources. A source of supply, uh -huh. support, or aid, especially one that can readily be drawn upon in a time of need yeah. for service, help, or assistance. Yeah. yeah. Rest, woo, a resource. Thank you ever heard people say, oh, if I only had known. If somebody had told me, I mean, they didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know about Elope's the resource. Right. Right. Thank you. But God is our refuge, man. He's our resource, too. Yeah. Now, I want to talk a little bit about some natural resources. Many of you probably have bought a car. You thought about buying a car. You went and, you know. Well, now, if you go and uh, think about a car, there's some resources for you. If you want to know about 
the worth of the car, yeah. you can get a blue book. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if you want to know the history of the car, you can get the car facts. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Woo. And, and if you want to make a, a scratch cake, somebody like the bait. But you don't know how to do it. They got cookbooks. And you can find a recipe yeah. in that cookbook. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I had something else and I didn't bring it. But that's all right. Because God is our resource. Uh-huh. And he cares about us. Yes, he does. And he just keeps on doing great things. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Yeah. Every morning I wake up. Yeah. That's a new thing. So that's a brand new day, a day that I didn't even know that I would be in. But the Lord woke me up. Praise God. Woke up one night in that storm and the thunder looked like it was going to tear the house up. Woo. But God was my refuge. Hallelujah. He took good care of us. Now, in the scripture, we read here that God is our refuge. Uh Uh-huh. Refuge, providing shelter from pursuit or danger, a safe place, and it's a place of hope. His refuge. Glory to God. Thank God for the refuge. Then there's strength. He's our strength. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. And we should keep it that way. Hallelujah. Yeah, depend on the Lord. We can do nothing. Mm. So you're talking about, okay, how is he in that strength? God changes our thinking and give us to comprehend his greatness. His greatness, his power, his promise, and his love. Look at it. Look at God. His strength is made perfect when our strength is gone. Hallelujah. When we seem to have no strength left, his strength is perfect. Hallelujah. So don't worry if our strength is gone because he will bear us up. Yes. Hallelujah. In Philippians 4 and 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Now, when I say all, to me, all is the whole of that thing. The whole of it. All. Nothing, nothing cut out, nothing left out. All. I can do all things, but it's through Christ. Not when I try to do it on my own. Because you find out you're going to make a mistake. You're going to fall. You're going to fail. We have to put God in it. Yay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then it says he's a present help. I know there's been many times that I needed a present help. I needed it right now. Hallelujah. Is there somebody out here that needed a present help? Yeah, a present help. You need it right now. And you know what? God has proven to be a reliable stronghold. He's done it in the past. So there's no reason to fear. No reason to fear. Present help. Woo! I'm up against the wall, Lord. I don't see, I can't go to the right. I can't go to the left. I can't go backwards. I can't even go forward. But he's a present help. Yeah. He steps right in. Yeah. Sometimes he do it so smooth we don't even know he's taking care of it. Yeah. That's how he works. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Glory to God. Say, so, Lord, I need you. Yeah. I need you. And Lord, you know, I hate to be trying to rush him, but I need you right now. Yeah. I need you yeah. right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. And you know, he must just dispatch an angel and come and help me. Hallelujah. Last night, 
I was wrestling, hallelujah, with something. It wasn't good. It was trying to suffocate me or do something to me. And I could feel, I could just feel it in my face. And I was trying to say something, but I couldn't get nothing out. Hallelujah. So I wrestled and I, I kept trying to say, you know, have you ever been, you're trying to get the word out, but the word ain't coming out. But I didn't give up. I kept on, when I could feel this thing like hair yes. dropped in my face. Oh. I kept praying. Oh. After a while, I said, Jesus! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That was the word, yeah. Deacon Collins. That thing just left. That spirit had to go. Because yes. I called the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. And, and they tremble. You know, they tremble yeah. at the name of Jesus. Yeah. They can't live there. They got to go. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he's proven. He has proven to be a stronghold in our past. So there's no reason to fear in the future. His promises are true. He hasn't taken any back. You know, I made promises. And I tell you, I meant to keep those promises. I did. But down the road, something happened beyond what I could handle. Or, you know, I had no control of it. And I had to go back and say, I'm going to have to take that promise back. But you don't find the Lord saying that. He don't take his promises back. They are true. Glory to his name. I tell you, the Lord is our hope. Ha. Huh. And he's the Lord of hope. He's with us always. Always. He said he would. Didn't he tell us he'd be with us always? We just have to stay with him. Don't run off and leave him. Don't get ahead. Don't get ahead. Stay with him. Let him work the thing out. Oh, say, Lord, help me to have patience. Help me to have some patience. I'm about to run off with this thing. Because it looks like you're just a little too slow. Uh-huh. And, and you're about to run off with it. I've been at the bus stop when I used to have to take the bus to work. I waited and I waited and I go and I look down the street. No bus in sight. I said, whoo, this bus is just not coming. And I would leave. And soon as I get too far that I couldn't make it back, here come the bus. I got impatient. But we have to have patience and let the Lord have his perfect work in us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. He provides security and peace. He just asks us to be still. Be still. Stop fretting. Stop trying to help him out. He don't need our help. He's God all by himself. Yes, he is. God all by himself. Just be still. Honor him. Love him. Be obedient to the word now. We got to be obedient to the word. We want him to be our refuge. We got to be obedient to the word. Live how he say live. Yeah. And, and don't live it part time. He's not accepting that part time stuff. He wants full-time obedience. Right. Hallelujah. We want him to come and give us the fullness. Well, he wants full-time obedience. Yes. His power is complete. And his ultimate victory is certain. You don't have to worry about it. It's certain. Hallelujah. He loves us so till he sees to it. That we have the victor. Now, who do you know going to fight your battle and then say, oh, go tell me you did it. You know, I'm going to give you the victory. <laughs> Praise God. No, but he did. He hung on the cross for us, for our sins. Oh, yes. And, and Psalm 18 and 30 said, his way is perfect. So if we want to be connected up with him, we have to be as perfect as we can be. We can't be 
falling out over here and falling out over there. Yes. We have to walk in the word. Yes. He will not fail to rescue those who love and trust in him. You know what? I, uh, I thought about those 10 leopards. You know, when, when they saw Herod about Jesus was coming and how they told him, Lord, have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when Jesus saw them, he didn't have to go and touch them or say a long prayer over them. You know what he told them? Go and show yourself to the priest. Now, that's powerful. That's power packed. Go and show yourself. To, you ain't said nothing. You want me to go show myself. I'm full of leprosy. But you want me to go and show myself to the priest. But I tell you, they, they did just what he said. They started walking to go to the priest. And guess what? As they went, as they went, they were healed. Yes. Ooh, he can do it. Yes, he can. He can do it. Glory to his name. Now, I want to call up a witness. Can I call up a witness? Yes. All right. So if you go with me to Acts, the 12th chapter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at uh, verse 1. We're going to find, I'm just going to be skipping about it. I'm going to be word for word. Uh, Herod had killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the people, yes, uh -huh, he proceeded further to take Peter. So he put him in prison because he didn't want to do it right now because he didn't want to stir the people up. He's going to wait till after Easter. Uh-huh. Yes. So he was held in jail. Oh, my. And he got those a uh, quadrant of soldiers to bring him in. And you know, uh, that's 16 for one man, 16. Uh-huh. But you know what? The resource is going to come in play. Uh-huh. Because Peter was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now, when I say church, we know we're not talking about this building. We're talking about those people. Now, they were the one that knew the resource. They knew about the resource. So they gathered and they prayed. And they kept on praying. Hallelujah. Peter in prison. And I guess Peter was sleeping. And they had somebody guarding the door. And those 16. And he was sleeping between two, two others. So I guess he probably thought, well, I just might as well go to sleep. Because there's no way I'm getting out of here with all this going on, all this, yeah. So he had went on to sleep. But you know what? Those people kept praying because they knew about the resource. And, and the, the word said, when you call, he will answer. Whew. He will answer. We got to have the right attitude now. Hallelujah. We got to be filled up. Not lagging. We got to be filled up with his spirit. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. And when you make contact with the resources, things happen. Look what happened here. The angel of the Lord came to him. Peter was asleep, so he had to wake him up. He smote him. Hallelujah. He smoked Peter. Mm -hmm. and raised him up and when he got up the change fell because he was in chains but when he got up the change fell off because those the church was talking with the resources and he was he was giving the solution and just keep on praying because I'm working it out I didn't send the angel the angel's down there working right now praise God for Jesus so the light shined in the prison, and he smoked Peter and raised him up. The chain fell off. And you know what? Peter looked around and thought he was seeing a vision. He thought he was seeing a vision. But after he had made it out to the streets of the city, he said, the Lord has sent his angels and had delivered me because the church 
made connection with the resource. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is the resource. Uh huh. And He told Him, He told us, He's our refuge yes. and our strength. Yes. Hallelujah. He's everything we need. Yes. Praise God. We don't have to look for anything else. Yes. He will do whatever we need Him to do yes. when we present a life. Hallelujah. Yes. And you know, if you don't know Him, He still will help you. He said, Come unto me. Yes. Oh, you that are labor and heavy labor. And I'm going to give you some rest. Hallelujah. So even if you don't know him, you still have a chance because he said so. Come unto him. Praise the Lord. And he will be your resource. Oh, I thank God for resources. It's a bad thing to be in need and have no resources. Mm -hmm. It's a bad thing to not have any resources. But God is our resources. I, and I praise and I magnify him. I thank him for all that he does. He just keeps on doing great things. Hallelujah. He raised me up when I was sick. Praise God. That was a great thing. Hallelujah. Because I thought it was about over. They couldn't find out what was wrong and, and all this stuff. And I, I would go by the mirror and I said, I look like death. I said that. My skin had gotten gray. It was, you know, that old, it, I said, I look like death. Woo, Jesus, help me. So Sister Deshaies had came back one day, and I told her, pray, pray, pray. Shoot. And then I went on back to bed. And then they, somebody came in the room, some of the med pe medical people, and said, uh, we're going to give you some blood. I thought, I've got to give me some blood. Where did it go? Where did my blood go? But anyhow, they gave me that blood. And the next day, I walked by the mirror. And do you know, my skin tone had came back. All that grayness had left. Whew. Power in the blood. Hallelujah. Yes, it was power in that blood. And we know there's power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. I praise God for his goodness. He just keeps on doing great things and great things. And over and over again, the Lord keeps doing great things. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord has given me. Hallelujah. And you know, when, when he had stopped talking to me, I said, well, Lord, I guess I'm done. Because, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go and make a mess and be like that cow. Anybody know about the cow? He give a good bucket of milk. They mix him in again, and he turn and knock it over. I don't want to knock it over. I thank God for His goodness, Lord. I thank you and I praise you and I magnify your name and I lift you up. You're worthy of all the praise. You're worthy. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy that's new every morning. Can't thank you enough. You've been so good and so kind. Oh, God, you're a great God. You're a great God. And we praise and magnify your name. Hallelujah. We say yes, yes, yes. Yes to your will and to your way. Hallelujah. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.